Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a product that the internet is absolutely going crazy over, and that's the Flower Jelly Lipstick. If you want to win a Flower Jelly Lipstick, I'll be giving three away, and all you have to do is click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, and also watch until the end of this video for more details. Now, I'm sure you guys have stumbled across this lipstick over the internet somewhere, maybe Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and actually I heard of it through one of you guys because you guys recommended that I try it for this series, so thank you for getting involved. Now, I don't even know how to pronounce this properly. I'm going to give it a go. Don't laugh at me. I think it's Kaylee Jume. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know. What's really cool about this lipstick is that it changes color according to like the temperature. So I guess after you put it on and the temperature changes on your lips, then it gets a bit more vibrant or darker. So not only is it a really pretty lipstick, it's actually really cool too. So the lipstick itself comes in a blue navy box and inside it's well packaged. And the actual packaging to the lipstick is a red case and it actually has a mirror on one side. So that's pretty convenient especially if you want to touch up on the go. The bottom of each tube is the name of the lipstick so you can tell which color is which and also you can tell by the flower in the jelly lipstick itself. Now it took me a while to figure out how to actually open the lipstick and basically it's got the name here and the other side has this like button and you just click it and the lipstick pops out. It says on the packaging that this product nourishes and moisturizes your lips thus keeping your lips soft and moist. Moist, isn't that the word that makes people cringe? It also has a fresh and pleasant fragrance. So that sounds pretty good. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna try the pink one first and this is the Barbie doll powder color. Oh, it does smell nice. And wow, it is pink. The smell of it is quite sweet. It sort of smells like, like a strawberry candy or something, but it's not overpowering and it sort of makes me want to eat it. And yeah, like I'm actually really surprised that because it's a clear lipstick, when it comes onto my skin, on my lips, it changes color. So how do they even like hide the pigment? It's kind of crazy. I feel like the color appeared and changed fairly quickly. I didn't really have to wait too long because in this room currently it's quite hot because of all the lighting. So the temperature in this room definitely played a role in the color change in the lipstick. I do really like the color of this lipstick. It's perfect for summer. And in regards to the texture and how it feels on my lips, it doesn't feel thick or anything. It's quite thin. It kind of feels like I just applied a chapstick over my lips. Now, it is a glossy finish, but it doesn't feel like a heavy, thick lip gloss. And the formula itself literally just melts and glides onto my lips. Okay, I'm gonna take it off and try another color. Next, I'm going to try out Minute Maid, which looks like a more orangey color. Okay, maybe I was totally wrong about the orange color. It's definitely not an orangey peachy color that I thought it would be. I guess looking at the packaging, I just assumed it would be a more of a peachy tone, but this is definitely a pink. Not as vibrant as the previous color, which was Barbie Doll Powder. I kind of feel like the name of the other one suits this one better, but it's still a nice shade. This one has the same smell as the other ones. So I'm guessing they all smell very sweet. Now looking at the lip color, wherever I have like dry patches, it's gone a little bit darker there. It is winter in Sydney and I get really chapped lips, but that's normal with, I guess, a lot of lipsticks. The color tends to grab more onto those areas, so that's pretty normal. And the last shade I'm gonna try is called Flame Red. Now, I'm assuming this is a red, but I was wrong about the orange, so let's just see the results. Wow, look how pretty this lipstick color is. The flower looks really pretty in this one. I guess because the color is more vibrant, so it stands out much more than the others. Time to try it out. I swear, it's like magic. Okay, it's not red yet, but maybe it will change. We'll 
just give it a couple of minutes. But yeah, this, this formula is really nice and soft. It's really hydrating and nourishing on the lips. So if you guys are like me and you guys are from like dry chapped lips and you want to give the matte lipsticks a break, try this one out because it's actually really nice in your lips. From the looks of things, I don't think this lipstick color is gonna change into a red shade. I think with all the lipstick colors, they're just different shades of pinks and the name is just the name. In saying that, I do love all the shades. I think it's perfect for a day look, perfect for spring and summer. And I love that it's really hydrating on the lips. One thing I do have to say is that I think this is literally like the prettiest lipstick I've ever seen. And I do understand why the internet has gone crazy over it. There's a freaking flower in a jelly lipstick. Like, can you get any more unique? Now it's time to rate the product. I'm gonna give the flower jelly lipstick a 10 out of 10. Uh-huh. There's nothing I can really fault about this. Well, besides the names throwing me off a little bit, but I love the shades. I love the packaging, the flower in the jelly, the gold leaf, everything is so pretty about this product. And also I love the function. I love how the color changes as the temperature of your lips change. Also, the price of it is fairly reasonable and I would definitely recommend it to all you makeup lovers out there. You guys need to try out this product. Now, if you want to get your hands on one and possibly win one from my giveaway, I'll be giving three away and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it and follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Tina underscore Yong and all you have to do is tweet me your name, your country of where you're from and a lipstick emoji. I'll leave more details about the giveaway down below, so make sure you check that out. That's it to this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching these Tina Tries It episodes. I really enjoy filming it for you guys and trying to like discover new products and testing things out, so it's been really fun. Now, if there's any products that you want me to try, make sure you comment and let me know below, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.